talk to you about small things. Small things that can make a difference. We think planting a tree is a small thing. But why can this make a difference? Well, we all know about the declining rainforest, but if you look into history, it, become, it becomes even more clear. Plato, in his time, was already concerned about the enormous deforestation in Greece. The Greeks were cutting down nearly all their forests to build wooden temples and to build ships to fight wars on the sea. Look at the skeleton, <coughs> sorry, look at the hills. They look like a skeleton of a dead man. All the rich soil washed away. Well, if you look at these recent pictures of Brazil and uh, Borneo, maybe you can all see the skeleton Plato was talking about. Well, why is deforestation such a problem? Well, in a recent study in Haiti, deforestation is closely linked to poverty. Um, deforestation leads to uh, landslides, so the rich soil uh, washes away. It leads to water scarcity. The agriculture yields drop down, and it also leads to malnutrition of the people. This is what it looks like. On the left, it's Haiti. On the right, the Dominican Pro uh, Re uh, Republic. Well, maybe it sounds depressing, but there's hope. This is the Los Plateau in China. Los is one of the richest types of soil there is. But after centuries of deforestation and overgrazing, it became a desert. And China, in 1994, started a rehabilitation project. They focused on making trusses, planting trees, and they stopped the people letting their cows and goats graze and roam free. Well, unlike Plato, who could see the consequences of deforestation in his direct surroundings, we in the West don't see the consequences of our lifestyle. But the consequences, they are suffered by the developing world. Speaking about this Western world, this is Manhattan. It's a well-known picture, you've seen it before. According to a study of the, study of the United Nations, more than 50% of the world population is living in cities right now. We call this concrete jungles. But I would more to say, it's like a concrete desert, because there's not a lot of vegetation to be seen. People are stacked up in apartments. In these dense populated areas, people experience high levels of stress and anxiety. Back to our own situation. This is where we used to live in Amsterdam. This is where we come from. So we ended up in a concrete desert, and I was lucky that I had a balcony. At the time, I was helping a friend of, my, uh, of me, who is a landscape architect, with planting trees. I asked him for some trees, and I put them in pots, so I could have a little bit of feeling of nature. So on a sunny afternoon, enjoying a cold beer, we were wondering how would it look like if we put trees on all of these balconies to create a huge vertical forest. And this reminded us of the Austrian painter and architect Hundertwasser, who also integrated trees in architecture. He also saw the benefits of integrating trees in urban areas. He said, trees can create oxygen, they improve the city climate, they clean the air, and they reduce city noise. They give shadow in the summertime. Butterflies and birds come back, and they improve the overall living quality. They heal the urban ecology. So we decided to start a project. And National Tree Planting Day was just a few months away, so we thought this is a good moment to do it. So we went door to door and asked all our neighbors if they also wanted a tree on their balcony. Around 80% of the people were super enthusiastic about it. And we thought not only to plant trees on the balconies, but also uh, plant trees in the developing world to help restore landscape. So for every tree on the balcony, we wanted to plant one tree in the developing world. <laughs> So we found sponsors for the trees, and we also started a crowdfunding campaign. We went to a local school and asked the kids if they wanted to plant the trees, and they joined in. And besides these chil children, we also had adult volunteers. There were people who lived in the, in the building who joined us, friends of us, and people who joined through social media. 
The day was a huge success. To our surprise, we got a lot of attention in an, on the national news, national newspapers, and spread it around. In total, we planted trees on 132 balconies. Besides that, we also planted 500 trees in an agroforestry project in Africa. This is what we like to do, contribute to a greener future. So, back to where we started, if lots of people do lots of small things on lots of small places, maybe we can alter the face of the world. So, what small things can you do? Well, do you have a balcony? Well, plant a tree on it. And encourage your neighbors to do also. And plant trees online in a developing world to help the people there restore the landscape and help the earth. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.